四十四集喎。四廿四集好，冇啲錯。真嘅。好，好 ，Yeah， in Cantonese 好即係 ，That is、uh, good， good， OK。So good afternoon or good evening， everybody， friend， collectors。All for the world. Thanks for watching Figure Talk episode 44. Yeah, uh, tonight I'm going to introduce uh, not a not a new brand uh, from the Figure Talk to talk about this uh, Iron Studio for Brazil. And uh, actually, uh, for myself, in my personal opinion, I really like the scale and uh, the format of this series of product. You know, uh, I, I I I appreciate uh, statue the the details and. and the shape or, or the gesture of all the deep or statue but you know sometimes it's they are too big one to four one to one to three scale so big and and it's really difficult for collectors in Hong Kong or in Asia to, to collect more to collect more 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 pieces. So I think uh, this is a solution. Yeah it's smaller scale and you can collect more but this is also a statue and you don't have to care about you know Many poles or accessories, how to how to com compile them. You, you don't have to afraid, and uh, also have the value of the statue. So it is a, a very good solution in between big scale statue and uh, uh, one six scale action figures or even uh, small scale action figures. So uh, I still this time this bring to bring us the details deluxe art scale Angham Knight Batman. Yeah. And beside beside him is the Angham Knight. Yeah, we introduced before, but I have to show you how it compares with the Batman. Okay, really have the same height of Batman. Okay, but uh, fortunately, this this statue we are going to introduce is a deluxe version. So he has a bigger stand or a special stand for him. Uh. This time the gargoyle is a like an eagle shape, eagle head. It's different. It's not a you know not a beast or animals like this is. This is obviously an eagle head, okay. And I put aside the Arkham Knight at the back, okay. And this deluxe Arkham Knight Batman is, I think it's from the the character is from the game, you know from the video game, okay. So uh. But as usual, uh, like last time, we have introduced another Batman um, uh, deluxe version. Uh, I think it's an exclusive one, and also have a gargoyle. So uh, it makes very outstanding the statue, and then uh, it sells really well and quickly. It sold out. This time, this Batman app from the Arkham Light has also the same accessory, the same deluxe stance including. So I think it could be another very Bad seller. Okay, we have a look uh, at the other wheel, and you can see this is one of the character of the recent release statue or or Iron Studio. They they make a fabric clock for this Batman, so it's a real fabric, and uh, have some you know has have some uh, wild insides. That means you can make the wild for specific posture to make the rock more you know lively look like look like a real life rock so and this one and this one the the crop is is made of pleader I'm not sure if it's leather or not but it's pleader like or maybe maybe a leather I try to smell have leather skin melt smell okay maybe real leather but I'm not sure but the smell looks really close to wheel leather, genie leather. Okay, and we can have a look on this. The back side, they didn't, they didn't forget to make the details on the back of the Batman. All the details are presented. They don't have, they didn't try to like neck the details at the back. Okay, so this Batman is a, is another cool Batman from the Arham Life series. 
Okay. I show you something for the goggle. The goggle is an eagle light. Eagle like sand. The whole stand and the statue make it very outstanding. If you're displaying at the office or at the house, at the home. Yeah. Um, a very good one released by Iron Studio. Yeah. Nothing to complain yet. All the details and posture has been set well. Make the Batman really outstanding. I can put something upper. Yeah, I forgot to show the boss art of this. Yeah, the boss art is like this. Iron Studio with the real portrait shot, not not graphical illustration. It's the real portrait shot. Yeah, uh, a bigger box compared with the regular version. I think if you put like that, it's more more interesting. You know. Uh, remember, remember the first time I see the Iron Studio products is in Korea, Seoul, and many of the display at that time they are showing, they are put them very at a very high height. So that's why every time the audience or attendants go to wheel, wheel them and have a look them, is not like that, and it make all the statue very outstanding and and you know very sharp for many people. So I think if you have bought one Iron Studio products. Maybe try to put it on upper deck or on the shelf, upper shelf. It looks much, much pretty cool, right? Right? Do you agree, Raymond? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Much pretty cool, much pretty cool, right? A little bit different. Yeah. So I think statue need to pick upper part. So the small statue, one to ten scale, can let you to put it on upper deck. You know, a big scale one, you cannot put it. On upper deck, otherwise it will drop, or it's very dangerous for them for you to put too high. Okay, I think this time we have to finish here now. And thanks for watching Figure Talk episode 43. My name is Brian O. And uh, please like and share my page and uh, subscribe our YouTube channel, uh, you Toys TV HK, and for Facebook, Toys TV HK, and uh, and uh, Brian No. Collect uh, uh, Brian No. Oh, I forgot the name. Anyway, you can like my, my share my video. Okay, please, please do so. Yeah, hope more people can watch our video and we can keep continue to do this kind of review, unbox, etc., etc. Thanks for support and thanks for all your comment and watching. Okay, see you. Bye bye.